Yo, this is Christian. If you are here, then you are probably wondering how to master front-end web development. If you want to get a high-paying developer job, your main goal should be mastering your tech stack. That's the only way people will take you seriously and pay you that big amount of money. I'm going to share with you my proven method that will help you confidently learn and master web development so you can get in a six figures career in the fastest time frame without wasting your time with boring and repetitive online courses and whatnot. This is for you if you already started your programming journey and you're ready to build a kick-ass portfolio of applications so you can land your very first web development job. And this is also for you if you're a complete beginner and don't know exactly what should be your main focus when you first learn code. In this video, you'll learn my four tips that help me and my clients land high paying developer jobs while also living the remote lifestyle. When I first started learning code, I was bombarded with all these technologies and frameworks and whatnot. I had massive FOMO and the massive Udemy wishlist. Funny enough, 95% of those technologies that were on my wishlist are now gone. That meant I would have wasted money and time learning a lot of bullcrap. So my number one tip for you if you want to master front-end development is to see the big picture. Ask yourself, why am I even doing this? What is the purpose of this technology, language, framework? Whatever, you need to remember that any programming language, be it JavaScript, C++, Python, or Java, are meant to solve problems or meant to create specific applications for specific platforms that are solving a specific problem or set of problems. As a result of JavaScript and the front-end ecosystem, we have thousands of packages and libraries that solve specific small problems or make the developer's life easier. The problem here is that you will be tempted to go and learn everything because you don't want to miss out on any knowledge. But that's wrong because that will lead you to something called tutorial hell. You need to master the fundamentals and really hold those concepts tight in order to have a need for the other stuff. The fundamentals are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let me ask you, can you replicate any website you see only with vanilla HTML and CSS? If yes, you can consider learning something like Tailwind or Bootstrap. You will have a need for that tool now that you went through the struggles and turmoil of creating websites with plain HTML and CSS. My humble opinion is that until you get a job, you shouldn't use any CSS framework. Just my take on it. The next fundamental thing is JavaScript with its data structures, functions, loops, conditionals. When I work with beginners, I ask them to build dozens of applications with plain JavaScript because they will understand the pain and will understand the fundamentals. So then later, when they have to learn React, which is a very popular JavaScript library, they will have an aha moment and it will click super quick in less than two days usually. Yeah? Self-taught developers usually take a long time to get that click because they jump right into it. And the same process comes when you have to learn state management, backend, databases. Learn things the hard way first or vanilla. Apply the vanilla way until you get it and it clicks, then find the alternative which is going to make your life easier. The second thing is having enough training volume for each skill until you are comfortable with practicing it, kind of like doing it on autopilot until it becomes natural to you. The reason why you should drill skills is because you become extremely confident in your skills. Being confident and knowledgeable will allow you to be creative, okay? If you don't know your tools, you won't be able to create applications worthy of putting on a portfolio. A good portfolio will make you a strong candidate when applying for a web development job. There is something called the hierarchy of competence. When you first learn a concept, you'll be really, really sloppy. Then you practice, still have to look up things here and there. After a while, you still have to think about how you make something work. But then at some point, you'll just hear about a task and your mind will already have solved the problem. You just have to kind of write the code. But to get to that point where you become unconsciously competent, you need to drill skills. For example, if mapping or filtering an array is an issue for you, take two days, three days to learn everything you can about it. If functions are a problem, then go ahead and practice functions. If Flexbox is an issue, then go ahead and practice layouts. There is literally no reason to hide your weaknesses under a rug. You have to confront the demon, metaphorically speaking, head on. Okay, this is a practice that you have to follow now as you are learning and later once you get hired. It's difficult at first, requires a lot of discipline, but it pays off really quick. If you drill your skills and get really comfortable with your tools, then you can negotiate a higher salary and raise your income even in your first developer job. That 80K plus a year salary comes to those who are skilled, not to those who watch Udemy courses, okay? This leads me to the third point, which is understanding your blind spots. And listen closely, this is key. Imagine this algorithm analogy. The more data, trial and error you feed to an algorithm, 
the better it performs and the better it outperforms others. Understanding your blind spots will give you that edge that will allow you to build an outstanding portfolio that makes it impossible to employers to say no to. Hell, maybe even giving you the edge to ask for a bigger salary that will make your life even better. You don't need to know everything, but you need to know what you don't know. That's the secret. Expand this area and you won't suffer anymore. And this leads me to the fourth and final point, and this is what enables my students to land jobs in record time and with more than enough uh, satisfying salaries. And that is code reviews and portfolio feedback. As a result, my students have landed jobs faster than most boot camps or programs on the market because of this secret golden sauce. It feeds into what I told you above. It's kind of simple but extremely potent, which is exactly what you need in order to land a web dev job and successfully pass any interview that you apply for, if done right, of course. Let's say you wrote some code. Fine, no problem. It works, correct? But it doesn't matter if your code works if nobody, and I mean nobody, can understand it. Developers will spot your mistakes and bad habits in a glance and they can label you as yay or nay. Writing clean and maintainable code turns you into the ultimate candidate for an 80k web dev job. It's this personalized feedback, winning mentality, consistency and anti-fragility that basically maximizes your chances of getting accepted on such a job. This is the key structure you need to follow in order to master front-end web development and land an 80k a year web dev job that will change your life forever possibly. Now, if you feel like you are ready and you are serious about implementing all these points, click the link below and let's have a chat to see if I can even help you. Keep in mind that this is for someone that wants to land an 80k a year web dev job, living the remote lifestyle and wanting to ramp up that programming engine without wasting years through like thousands of online resources. And by the way, I work with you until you get hired, no matter how long it takes. I'll see you in the next one, Christian.